I know the uh, game release has been announced for the uh, states sometime in June, I think it was. And I wanted to just show you guys some of the cool stuff that we have um, on some online sites here in Japan that feature QR codes that people have designed. Um, you can use this if you go into the um, sisters' uh, clothing shop, and I'll show you guys where they are in a little bit here. You access a machine that's there that helps you use the camera on the 3DS to scan uh, QR codes so that you can um, get cool designs from different locations. And a lot of people have been taking a lot of time and effort to make some pretty cool designs. These are just a couple of places. This is a little uh, place that just kind of lists a bunch of examples of kinds of different um, designs that you can access. And I thought these were kind of fun because there's, of course, things for your home, uh, decorations, tiles, things for um, uh, wallpapers and floors, but then there's also clothes. And because there's so many people that are huge fans of like Miku, uh, this is uh, one of the outfits that she wears. You can see there's the different scans of that. Um, of course, there's also so many huge fans. Um, that's from Hack. Uh, there's also, um, let's see here. There's a lot of people that put up stuff that's from, my camera's shaking way too much, excuse me. There's a lot of people who put up stuff from um, uh, AKB, uh, a lot of those things are up as well. Perfume, uh, just a lot of different fun things that people have taken the time to design and scan in. There are some programs out there that let you scan images and it'll make a QR code image for you if you're looking to do kind of a quick shot of that. but. Uh, just so many really fun things to do. You can get a hold of some really cute kinds of t-shirts and dress designs and such, um, depending on you know what you're interested in. Final Fantasy stuff, outfits, just so many things to pick from. And um, all you do is just bring your, you know, your game right here and just uh, scan the QR code right from the screen of the computer, and that gets you the design that's shown there. In the case of these where there's uh, four because it's an outfit and it shows the front, back, and both side views, you just need to scan each consecutive um, QR code. The DS game, the Animal Crossing, kind of guides you through and says scan the next one, scan the next one. So it knows that it's stick spec four different parts to it as you go through, which is really cool. So that's just sort of an example of some of the stuff there with that. And then there's also I'll show you guys really quick these. This is just some examples of some tile designs. Um, and, you know, these are kind of fun to use. If you don't want to have to go through the trouble of designing it yourself, you can just use these. Uh, there's a nice brick one. This girl down here did some really cute um, snowflake design. And you can see it placed in her house. She even kind of shows you guys what it'll look like when it's done. So lots of really cool designs. Uh, if you're not really up to trying to do your own work, you can kind of benefit from some other people's uh, patience and skill to get a hold of some cool designs. Um, and I'll show you guys really quick how to do that um, using the QR code here when I've got everything set up over on the other side here. So just wanted to kind of show you guys the websites though really quick. And I'll put a link to both of these. I know there's going to be a lot of English-based ones of this kind of uh, developed, I'm sure, once the game gets released. But if you're looking for some variety, there's no restriction depending on, you know, where the country was or where it was made or anything. These will work no matter where you are. Um, it might be a little hard to read to know what you're getting, but you can kind of tell just from the example what things look like. So. Um, I'll go ahead and turn the camera around here and show you guys in the game how to do to use the QR code to scan to get some of these cool designs. So here I am at the Able Sisters and after a while of playing you should be able to get to a point where this machine back here will become available to you. It does take a little while to get through this in the levels. Um, you just keep talking over here to her and then after a while she'll finally let you have access to this. And if you just click on it and she'll, Asami will ask you, oh, do you want to use uh, the machine? And you can just tell her yes, and then it goes into a mode where it switches on the cameras in the back. And um, you just go ahead and say yes to all that. And she's saying, okay, well, you can go ahead and do the My Design. And then you have to choose from that, of course, where you're going to save. There's only so many slots where you can save your designs. These are the ones I've got so far. Um, you can see I got a couple of ones from the place I showed you, like that snowflake design. Um, I also made my own um, one with my my um, Happy Puppy Truffles design there. 
Um, and then one that I drew by hand, which takes forever. That takes forever. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of these that I don't need anymore. I'm going to use that slot. And then when I go ahead and go to the QR code, I can scan it. So you guys can see here, I've got the page that was open with this uh, design here. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and scan in the uh, uh, brick design. And I've already actually opened it over here in this folder. Um, you, you can work just from that original screen or you can work from this uh, kind of when you go to the actual page where the original image is found. And then I just take this guy here and you can see there's this section that includes these three uh, squares and that's kind of the sensor to try to find the QR code. And you just make sure that each one of those lines up with the three QRs and once it lines up it says OK. And I see I've got it right here. It's taken it successfully. And if you say that that's what you want to do, just click OK. And it'll be saved inside your computer now. And then we can take it back home and put it on our wall. So really the uh, designs are really endless. Now if you're a big fan of trying to get um, Home Academy award, um, level awards and trying to collect everything from a particular series, then these kinds of pri privately designed um, you know, wallpapers and floorings uh, aren't going to be probably very appealing, but if you get past wanting to do that or you're not even interested in, in that part of it at all from the beginning, you can go ahead and really have fun using some of the community made things and also make your own of course if you enjoy doing that kind of thing and then you can share that with people on sites like the ones I showed you guys so I just uh, take the design I've got here that was a really cool brick design I'm just gonna go in here and if you just go to the design section here and this is the same as it's been in all past um, Animal Crossings. You just choose this and then it lets you choose what kind of thing you're going to use it for. So these are the different choices of ways that you can um, use the uh, design. And you can put it on the wall like as like a framed artwork if you wanted to. That's what I did with my um, Happy Puppy Truffles design. Um, you can also uh, put it... Uh, somewhere as a design that you've made, like a painting. Then you can also put it on the wall, um, not just the one right in front of me. And you can see there, it looks kind of cool. Neat little design. Um, so there's a lot of different ones you can use it for. Um, you can also choose to put it on something. We can put it on a clothing and set it someplace. You can see I've done that with this one here. Like I made that, that snowflake outfit and then I had it um, put there as display. So there's so many different ways that you can use this to make a display. So for example, I'm looking at this wall here and this is one of the new features of this new game which is really cool is that they let you make designs on your walls which is so cool. So like if I wanted to put this, I can put it on my um, wall just like a painting. And so you could put, you know, scans of like um, album covers, uh, artwork, anything you want to use and then hang it up anywhere for kind of a, a fun way to decorate your house. So uh, just a really cool addition using the QR code option to make some really neat designs, whether it be, you know, choosing to place them all over the wall or the floor or on clothes. That's just sort of a little quick introduction to QR codes. So um, I'll be trying to come back to you guys again later on to give you an idea of some of the other cool stuff. Oh wait, before I forget, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Um, in February uh, we had the carnival celebration and just like uh, on the Wii it was um, with that little peacock girl there waiting for you. And you could get all this cool furniture. I think I got almost all of it. I think there was one thing I'm missing, but I can't remember what it was. And that was my little outfit that I wore that day. So, um, but kind of fun stuff. So, <laughs> but uh, that kind of gives you guys a little brief look at what's going on in Animal Crossing.